Cancer, you are up for the 2023 Tarot Energy Reading. Before I go any further, KIRWKC.com, main podcasting platform. This podcast is carried on Apple, Spotify, Google, iHeartRadio, Pandora, Overcast, Bullhorn, Amazon Music, Audible, and several other podcasting platforms. Please feel free to listen to this podcast on whatever platform is most convenient for you. KIRWKC on all the social media platforms. All right. So, as I said, this is the 2023. I'm recording these in November. All of the November readings are up for all of the signs. The love readings are up, the general readings are up, and the money readings are up. Also, November is considered Scorpio season, so Scorpio's got a bonus reading for the November readings. Um, Collective readings, full moon and Taurus, Halloween reading, and random collective readings have been posted over the last few weeks. Whatever reading you watch or listen to, take what resonates, leave what doesn't. If it's not your story, don't try to make it fit. I'm just a person in reading energy into tarot cards. You know your story better than I ever could. I'm using my Oracle deck, my custom tarot deck, and the regular tarot deck to do the 2023 reading. May I have the energy for cancer for 2023? May I have the energy for cancer for 2023? May I have the energy for cancer for 2023? What is it that cancer needs to hear? What is it that cancer needs to hear? What is it that cancer needs to hear? hear? May I have a card, please? It seems like there's that special card (laughs) that is waiting to come out. Because usually when it takes long like this, there's a certain card that the energy is trying to get to. And I'm curious to see what it is. (laughs) Thank you. Wow. Number 25. 25 might be significant to some of you. Some of you might have a birthday on June 25th, which actually is my grandmother's birthday. (laughs) So, yeah. And it says emergence. Emergence. And let me read this to you. It says the frequency of emergence invites us to approach our reality with a childlike attitude of innocence and wonderment and to watch and celebrate the beauty that unfolds from that place. Let me read it again. The frequency of emergence invites us to approach our reality with a childlike attitude of innocence and wonderment and to watch and celebrate the beauty that unfolds from that place. Emergence. So with this, I think of a flower blooming the way when I look at this, I think of a flower blooming. And I feel like I don't know. The thing that's in my head now is a rose in slow motion. You know how sometimes they um, take a flower or something that's happening. You know, those nature shows and they speed it up a little bit, but really is still, you know, in slow motion because it happens over a long period of time. But as you're watching it happen, especially with flowers opening up or either if they're in the sea and then, you know, the um, I believe it's called the anemones uh, open up as well and stuff like that. It's just really, really cool. And I feel like this is one of those moments that is happening for you in 2023 where for some of you, you may have felt like something was taking forever. And it has been taking a while, but now as you're watching things start to finally come together and bloom in 2023, you're like, wow, this is really pretty. It's like looking at a flower open up slowly. So, and then you emerge is what happens. So emergence. All right, let me take a card from my quote deck right quick. Energy for cancer 
for 2023. I don't know why I was ready to say 2025. Mark it down. Maybe something of significant, and that's a nine. Because yeah, two plus two plus five is nine. So yeah, but mark that down. 2025, which 25 is here too. So yeah, energy for cancer in 2023. Energy for cancer in 2023. Energy for cancer in 2023. What is it that cancer needs to hear? What is it that cancer needs to hear? What is it that cancer needs to hear? May I have a card, please? Thank you. Mm. Okay, so some of you might actually be going to the gym in 2023 or getting physically fit. This quote is by former President John F. Kennedy. It says, physical fitness is not only one of the most important keys to a healthy body. It is the basis of dynamic and creative intellectual activity. Let me read that again. Physical fitness is not only one of the most important keys to a healthy body. It is the basis of dynamic and creative intellectual activity by former President John F. Kennedy. So physical fitness is a big deal. I also feel like for those of you who are going down the fitness trail in 2023, if you haven't started already, once you see the results, for your body, you will be very pleased with the results as long as you stick with it. It can't be a thing where you start and stop because obviously you're not going to get results that way. But for those of you who stay with it in 2023, once you emerge, it's going to be very pretty. For others of you, this is something that can help you with your health too. There may be something in physical fitness that will help you not just physically, but intellectually intellectually as well, working on your mental fortitude too. So keep that in mind. Let's go ahead and get to the regular tarot and see what we get. Energy for cancer for 2023. Energy for cancer for 2023. Energy for cancer for 2023. What is it that cancer needs to hear? What is it that cancer needs to hear? What is it that cancer needs to hear? Bottom of the deck, nine of swords. First thing you need to hear is get out of your head. May I have some more cards, please? And nine of swords is air energy, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Okay, strength, and then the Prince of Pentacles. Yeah, like I said before, this emergence thing, something has been moving slowly. Don't forget, the the Prince is the Knight of Pentacles in this deck. So it's been moving slowly, but it's coming. And when it does, it's going to be beautiful. You just have to have the strength to hold on and stay the course. May I have some more cards, please? Because whatever it is that you need, that you're waiting on, is headed towards you. Thank you. What I tell you? May I have some more cards, please? I told you. It's coming towards you. This emergence is going to be beautiful. Thank you. And this one doesn't want to go back in. So I'm going to keep that there, which is the King of Cups. What is this card? Yeah, it's going to be beautiful. A lot of um, Scorpio energy, too. But one thing that will play a major role 
is definitely staying in control of your emotions. Don't let your emotions get the best of you in 2023. This card fell. Ugh. Bottom of the deck, King of Wands. And then the card that fell is the Queen of Wands. That's interesting. Card that fell is the Queen of Wands. Card at the bottom of the deck is the King of Wands. I'm going to take this one off and stick it with the Queen. The reason I'm doing that is because for some of you, you will be finding your divine partner in 2023. Because anytime in a suit, the King and the Queen appear, this is your partner. So for some of you in Cancer, even though you're not a fire sign, you may have fire in your chart or you just may be exuding that type of energy. You may be exuding King of Wands energy or you may be exuding Queen of Wands energy. Whatever energy you're exuding, there is somebody exuding the other. So if you're exuding Queen of Wands energy, there's someone who may be an actual King of Wands, a fire sign, or they may not even be a fire sign. They could be a Scorpio, King of Cups, but they're exuding King of Wands energy in doing that. Regardless, with these two here, this is telling me that for some of you, you will find your match in 2023. Going back to the Prince of Pentacles and the Strength card, for some of you, you may have been tired in the love department. Like, when is it going to happen for me? That Phyllis, that Phyllis Hyman song, if you haven't heard of Phyllis Hyman, you should check her out. She was an amazing singer. But there's a song she has called Why Not Me when she's talking about love. Why, why, um, what is it? Why not me? Is it a crime to be myself or who I was meant to be? Why not me? You know, she's like, I need a man um, who's got his own. I need someone who's sensitive and strong. You know, um, I'm doing this off the top of my head here. The list goes like it goes on and on and on. Just check out the song if you haven't heard it. But the point is, some of you may have been in that energy in 2022 where it's like, okay, why not me? When it comes to love, why not me? When it comes to recognition, why not me? When it comes to that promotion, why not me? When it comes to my family treating me better, why not me? When it comes to being recognized for my gifts and talents, why not me? This is saying this emergence in 2023 for those of you who have been going through the, that why not me, that's going to change when the flower blooms. And for some of you, you will find love. For others of you, you will be recognized. The six of wands came out. Some people who have may have judged you wrong before are judging you differently now with the judgment card. For others of you, you've just received a new lease on life. For some of you, you may be making a judgment. You may be calling in judgment. It may have been a thing of where at first someone thought that you weren't good enough for them. But when you really sat back and evaluated the situation, you're like, wait a second, you're not good enough for me. And it was almost like in the movie, The Mirror Has Two Faces with um, Barbara Streisand. And... She finally, okay, spoiler alert if you haven't seen The Mirror Has Two Faces. Okay, got that out the way. But there was this guy that she was head over heels for. The guy ends up marrying her sister because her sister was gorgeous. So it didn't work out between him and her sister. She ends up losing weight, the, the girl who originally liked him ends up losing weight, getting, you know, zhuzhed up and all this other stuff, and looks great. They finally go out on a date together after he separates from her sister. And when they go out on the date, they're at his apartment, and she started saying, all this time, I thought that I wasn't good enough for you. And he was like, no, no, no. You're good enough for me. And then that's when she gets up and starts walking away. And she's like, but you don't get it. I'm, you're not good enough for me or I'm too good for you. <laughs> and then she leaves his apartment. For some of you, that might be the judgment that you're calling in on some people. 
where you're thinking like all this time, okay, well, they feel I'm not good enough, da 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 But once you really think about it, it's like, wait a second, you're not good enough for me. Why am I... Why am I thinking about this? Why am I in my head about this? So that will be the case for some relationships. It could be the case for some friendships. But judgment will be called in in 2023 for people. What's at the bottom of the deck? The devil. And that's why. Because of that toxicity. That um, negative energy. Where... Some of you, as you're going into 2023, which honestly, cancer, because I'm a cancer too, I feel like 2022, we already cut off a lot of people. And we we did it in a nice way. It's just like, no, I'm not going to cuss you out or anything, even though I could. However, I'm not going to make an effort to stay in contact with you. I'm not going to do that. And I feel like that's how... Uh, quite a few people who dealt with cancers got cut off where we were just like we're not going to make the effort to stay in touch if you want to talk to us that's fine but honestly it's not that deep to us we're moving on with our lives and focusing on us which there's nothing wrong with that because as a cancer we usually focus on everyone else trying to help everyone else and do for everyone else and so on and so forth so 2022 a lot of cancers made up their mind where it's like look you're going to have to fend for yourself for a little while. I need to focus on me and get my stuff together. In 2023, I honestly feel like there's going to be judgment called again on more people. Or even possibly some of the same people who are trying to stay in your life when really you're not in that energy. Because you know some of those people come with toxicity, the devil energy. So you're not trying to entertain it. So that's what's happening on that. Like I said, judgment is going to be called again. But in the midst of all of this, you're being recognized for what you're doing, for what you're giving back to your community for, for your ideas, for your talents, for your gifts. That's what's going on in 2023. What's happening is emergence. And this emergence, it's a lot easier for the flower to bloom when you don't have a whole bunch of negative energy around it, when you don't have a bunch of weeds around it, when you don't have a bunch of pollutants around it, when you don't have a bunch of people who take from the flower instead of giving to the flower. When those things aren't around it, the flower can bloom a whole lot better. And in 2023, I feel because adjustments were made in 2022, as you're going into 2023, more adjustments will be made. And that will also help with the emergence. The blooming of the flower. So, yeah, Cancer, I'm just curious, what's under the devil? Because I hadn't even checked it. High Priestess. More major arcana energy. Which can be about silence. Again, I feel like a lot of cancers aren't saying much to people. We just, we're just not. We don't feel the need to explain anything. We're just minding our business. I feel you'll still be in that energy in 2023. As well. Also while you're gathering knowledge too. And then things are starting over. With the full card. You're just going to work on your stuff. Whether it's your job. Whether it's your company. Whether um, it's... Something like philanthropy, nonprofit work, your physique, whatever. You're going to be working on you like you've been doing in 2022. You're going to continue that in 2023, except more than likely with even more stuff that you're doing, with even more determination. Under that is the Two of Cups. So again, with the Two of Cups, the King of Wands... And the Queen of Wands. These cards right here. That lets me know that somebody is about to meet their soulmate in 2023. The Queen of Wands, the King of Wands, and the Two of Cups. And for some of you Cancers, it might be a fire sign. Which those relationships are always interesting. <laughs> With water and fire. <laughs> So, yeah. 
But again, I'm, I don't want to just single love out here because this isn't just about love. This is about a whole new layout, a whole new dynamic that dynamic that is emerging. All right. And I think I'm going to title this The Flower Blooms. That is your message. KIRWKC.com, main podcasting platform. This podcast is carried on Apple, Spotify, Google, iHeartRadio, Pandora, Overcast, Bullhorn, Amazon Music, Audible, and several other podcasting platforms. Please feel free to listen to this podcast on whatever platform is most convenient for you. KIRWKC on all the social media platforms. Till next time, be blessed.